Hey guys, Eric here. Normally with a three-way, you'll have two switches that control a single light or entire set of lights. If you wanna make those lights smart, you can change all the bulbs, which will be extremely expensive, or it's just easier to change the switch. Well, a lot of brands out there require you to change both switches when you have a three-way. Unfortunately, I know that's not required. The technology does exist for you to only change one. But for some reason, these brands are pushing two switches. I wonder why. <laughs> so I have come across a few brands that you are only required to replace one switch where you can have a normal switch on the other side. There are some brands that also where you have their smart switch on one side and then the same brand slave on the other side. And I just don't think that's required either. I think whatever switch you have there is the switch that you're going to use as long as you change the other side. So some brands do it, some brands don't. Unfortunately, none of them except for one actually works with HomeKit. Today, we're going to take a look at the Wemo 3-Way for HomeKit. Let's check it out. Now don't get confused, this is a two pack. I'm gonna be using each switch on a different circuit. Only one smart switch is required for a three way as it is written on the box. Now it doesn't tell you this in the box, but after I open it up, I actually learned you can actually use this on a four way light. Normally with a four way light, you have two three ways and one four way. You can actually change one of those three way and make the entire circuit smart. So stay tuned to the end and I'll show you how I did that in my foyer. I do want to preface that I am not an electrician. I am only showing you what I did in my house. I highly recommend that you get an electrician to install this because you don't want to be messing with electricity. Also want to preface that you will have to have a neutral wire in all situations. If your house or your, your box doesn't have a neutral wire, this will not work for you, unfortunately. So I'm going to be changing out the light switch on the left, which is a three-way for the back patio light light switch on the right is actually for the shower yes i do have a light switch for the back patio in my master bedroom previous owner put it there now that i'm editing this i probably should just cap that switch off and just put a normal three-way or normal smart switch in the kitchen and be done be able to control that back patio light with my phone i'll be changing this out in the near future but you guys can see how to do a three-way with this install by the way it doesn't matter which switch you change as long as the one that you change has the neutral wire because the neutral wire is going to be providing power when the light Light is off so like in my situation the one in the kitchen was a black switch so putting a white switch wouldn't keep it uniform so I definitely wanted to change the one upstairs first thing you want to do is turn off the power to that circuit if you're not sure what circuit it is go ahead and shut off the power to the whole house I've done it before go ahead take off the face plate and double check the power is off with a little test tool also check all the wires including the neutral wire because sometimes there might be some power from a neighboring circuit going to that neutral wire and then i highly recommend that you take a photo of the current setup just in case things don't go your way you can go back and revert it back to the original setup i gotta say the instructions from wemo are really really nice full color tells you exactly what to do and guys don't overthink this do it exactly what it says and you should be good in most situations if not definitely hire an electrician because you don't want to make a mistake here go ahead and identify the line wire put the little piece of black tape on there in most situations it's going to be the wire that's attached to the black screw then go ahead and disconnect all the wires from the old switch clean them up a little bit make sure they're all nice and straight then you can bring the new switch in go ahead and connect that black wire to the line wire that you identified earlier attach the two traveler wires which is the red and the blue attach the neutral wire which is the white and then also the ground to the bare wire in your box now once you've done this and have all the wire nuts all nice and tight what I like to do is just to give them a little tug to make sure that there's nothing that's going to disconnect I don't put everything back in the box just yet I go downstairs turn the power back on come back up and make sure everything is working and once that is all set and done, I go ahead, go back downstairs, turn off the power, and that's when I will 
put the wires back in nice and neat. I then downloaded the app from the Apple App Store, set up an account, and started installing this inside the app. I started having connection issues right off the bat. It wouldn't take the new switch whatsoever. So I went over the home kit, tried to connect it there, and it just would not accept the new switch. I tried a bunch of different things, and I really don't know what I did, but eventually it got into both the app, the Wemo app and also the HomeKit app. Once I did get it connected, I went into the Wemo app, updated the firmware, and then I put on the faceplate and I was good to go. I then went through some testing, turned on and off the smart switch, went downstairs to the kitchen, turned on and off that switch. Everything worked A-OK. -okay. Went into the Wemo app, went into the HomeKit app. Both of those worked great. Great. And then I decided to go ahead and hook this up to Lady A and also Mr. G, which you can do by going into the respective apps, going into the skills, looking for the Wemo app, and then connecting the account. Once you do that, all the stuff, all your Wemo stuff, if you have multiple switches, comes over and you're good to go. Now, as I promised, I'm going to show you how I did this in a four-way configuration. If you read the directions carefully, you can see it says you cannot replace a four-way switch with this smart switch. But if you have two three-ways in that four-way configuration, you can definitely change one of those and make that entire circuit smart. Which means that you might have to open up multiple boxes to see what's inside. And in my case, I had to open up three different boxes until I found what I was looking for. Originally wanted to switch upstairs in the hallway to control the Fourier light, but after taking a look at it, it was a three-way switch, but for some reason, I didn't have a identifiable neutral in that box. Had some random wires, but they were red, and they just didn't look like a neutral to me. I was about to back out of the whole thing and just hire an electrician, but then I decided to check out the other two boxes, which I was really hesitating in doing because they were both four-gang boxes boxes with other smart switches in them. The first four gang I went to did have a neutral wire, but unfortunately the switch was a four-way switch, so I can't use this box whatsoever. So I had to go to the third box and I got lucky. It was a three-way switch with a neutral wire. I then identified the line wire with a piece of black tape that went to the black screw, disconnected the rest of the switch, and started reconnecting it to the Wemo switch. The black wire goes to the line wire. The other two travelers go to the red and blue wires. The green goes to the ground, and the white goes to the neutral. Once everything was connected and secure, went downstairs, turned the power back on just to make sure everything was working before I put the switch back into the box. Not only did I check it here at the smart switch box, but also the other two boxes to make sure those were working properly. Once everything was good, I went back down, turned off the power, and started putting the wires back into the box and made it all nice and neat. And then all that was left was to go into the app and set it up. So yes, I did have that issue with setup. Once I got it set up though and it got connected, it's been working flawlessly. It really has been super stable. Anytime I go into the app or ask Lady A or um, Mr. G to turn it on or turn it off, it's been great. I truly appreciate Wemo for making such a great product where I don't have to replace two switches, have to spend money on two switches or spend time on replacing two switches. So thank you for uh, to Wemo for such a great product. If you guys want to see the next video in my HomeKit series, check that video right there. And if you want to check out some other HomeKit videos or stay tuned for more HomeKit videos, so hope you consider subscribing right there. Thanks for watching. See you on next video. Nothing can break me.